Hello and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question which says, A class has 15 students whose ages are 14, 17, 15, 14, 21, 17, 19, 20, 16, 18, 20, 17, 16, 19 and 20 years. One student is selected in such a manner that each has the same chance of being chosen and the age X of the selected student is recorded. What is the probability distribution of the random variable X? Find mean, variance and standard deviation of X. Now we know that the mean of X denoted by mu is the number sigma xi pi i varying from 1 to n where x takes possible values x1, x2, so on till xn with probabilities p1, p2 till so on pn. Now the mean of a random variable x is also called the expectation of x and this is denoted by Ex. So Ex is equal to mu which is again equal to sigma xi pi i varying from 1 to n. Now again the variance of x is given by E x square minus E x square. Now, the non-negative number, sigma x, which is called the standard deviation of the random variable x, is given by under root of variance of x. So, this is a key idea behind our question. We will take the help of this key idea to solve the above question. So let's start the solution. So here in this question, we are given the ages of 15 students of a class. Now one student is selected in such a manner that each has the same chance of being chosen and the age x of the selected student is recorded. So the sample space s is equal to so x has 15 elements. Now we have to find the probability distribution of the random variable x. So here we observe that the random variable x can take some values 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and 21. So the probability distribution of x is so when x is 14 px is equal to 2 over 15 because there are two students whose ages are 14 years now when x is 15 probability of x is 1 over 15 because there is only one student whose age is 15 years. Again, when x is 16, probability of x is 2 over 15. Because from here we can see there are only two students whose ages are 16 years. Similarly, when x is 17, px is 3 over 15. Again, when x is 18, px is 1 
one over fifteen. Similarly, when x is nineteen, p x is two over fifteen. Now, when x is twenty, p x is three over fifteen. And similarly, when x is twenty one, p x is one over fifteen. So this is the probability distribution of x. Now we have to find mean, variance, and standard deviation of x. Now according to our key idea, mu is equal to e x, which is equal to sigma x i p i i varying from one to n. So this is equal to 14 into 2 over 15 plus 15 into 1 over 15 plus 16 into 2 over 15 plus 17 into 3 over 15 plus 18 into 1 over 15. Plus nineteen into two over fifteen. Plus twenty into three over fifteen. Plus twenty one into one over fifteen. And this is equal to twenty eight over fifteen. Plus fifteen over fifteen. Plus thirty two over fifteen. Plus fifty one over fifteen. Plus eighteen over fifteen. Plus thirty eight over fifteen. Plus sixty over fifteen. Plus Twenty one over fifteen. Now this is equal to two sixty three over fifteen, which is again equal to seventeen point five three 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 three. So this is the mean of the variable x. Now for the variance, we will first find out. E x square, and this is equal to fourteen square into two over fifteen plus fifteen square into one over fifteen plus sixteen square into two over fifteen plus seventeen square into three over fifteen. Plus eighteen square into one over fifteen plus nineteen square into two over fifteen plus twenty square into three over fifteen plus twenty one square into one over fifteen, and this is equal to. One ninety six into two over fifty, because fourteen square is one ninety six plus two twenty five into one over fifteen plus two fifty six into two over fifteen plus two eighty nine. Into three over fifteen plus three twenty four into one over fifteen plus three sixty one into two over fifteen plus four hundred into three over fifteen plus 
441 into 1 over 15 and this is equal to 392 over 15 plus 225 over 15 plus 512 over 15 plus 867 over 15 plus 324 over 15 plus 722 over 15 plus 1200 over 15 plus 441 over 15 and this is equal to 4683 over 15 and this is again equal to 312.20 now we will find e x square which is equal to 17.53333 square and this is again equal to 307.41766 now According to our key idea, we have variance of x is equal to e x square minus e x square and this is equal to 312.20 minus 307.41766 and this is equal to 4.78234 and this is again equal to 4.78. Now again according to our key idea the standard deviation of the random variable x that is sigma x is equal to under root of variance of x. So this is equal to under root of 4.78 which is equal to 2.19. So this is the answer for the above question. That is, this is a probability distribution of x. Now 17.53 is the mean of x. 4.78 is the variance of x. And 2.19 is the standard deviation of x. So this completes our session. I hope the solution is clear to you. Bye and have a nice day.